Welcome, and thank you for downloading this file from Saturn Alliance. My name is Robert, and I'll be taking you through the session. The aim of this brief session is to help you better understand what Microsoft's Small Business Server is and how it can fit in with your business. Also, at the end of the presentation, you'll find a special offer we are making to listeners. Let's get all the legal stuff out of the way first. This audio is a product of Saturn Alliance and is copyright. It can't be duplicated without the express permission of Saturn Alliance. All information presented here is for informational purposes only. Every effort has been made to ensure that it is correct that Saturn Alliance provides no guarantees or accepts any liability for what is provided. By listening to this, you understand and accept that the information provided here is as is. So with that out of the way, let's get started. What we'll cover here today includes what is SBS or Small Business Server? What is a server? The different versions of Small Business Server. Some of the misconceptions and limitations of SBS. And finally, some recommendations about server hardware. Let's start with what Small Business Server actually is. Small Business Server or SBS is a Windows Server software product from Microsoft. It combines a number of technologies such as Windows and Exchange and then bundles them together to be installed on a single server. Probably the first thing people want to know is what exactly is a server? Basically a server is something that provides resources for computers. If you have a computer that stores information in files and another computer that accesses this information, normally across the network, the computer with the information on it could be called a server. Servers come in all shapes and sizes. Even Windows XP can act as a server, which it does in many small networks. You can connect Windows XP machines together in what is known as a peer-to-peer -peer network to share files, printers and so on. This works great until you get about five machines connected together. At about this level, issues start to develop, such as managing different file versions, backing up information and keeping the information secure. It is exactly at this point that Microsoft's Small Business Server is aimed. For businesses that have grown beyond peer-to-peer -peer networks and are still looking to expand, Small Business Server can help you solve many problems and yet still allow your business to grow. How can you buy Small Business Server, you may ask? Well, it's available in a number of different forms, but probably the most cost-effective way to obtain Small Business Server is by purchasing it bundled with new server hardware. Plenty of big suppliers such as Hewlett Packard, Dell and IBM have deals that allow you to purchase a new server and have Small Business Server bundled and pre-installed. Otherwise you can purchase Small Business Server from wherever you normally purchase software. So why do you need a server? Probably the most likely reason that you want a server is to centralise your information and manage your network better. With the server, you'll also get improved security as well as being able to back up all your critical business information in one location. With a product like Small Business Server, you'll get all this, remote access to your Windows XP desktops via the internet, a fax server so you can send and receive faxes directly from the desktop, Outlook 2003 for each workstation, as well as a whole lot more. When you look at the value that's included in Small Business Server, it's really hard to beat. Microsoft Small Business Server comes in two editions, Standard and Premium. The Premium Edition has everything that comes with Standard, but includes ISA Server as well as SQL Server. The Standard Edition of Small Business Server is specifically targeted at those looking for their first server. It is about half the price of the Premium Edition. Don't worry, if you need to, you can always upgrade from Standard to Premium at any time. When you buy any version of Small Business Server, you'll receive five client licenses. This allows you to connect up to five workstations to the server. If you have more workstations you need connected, then you can buy additional client license packs. These come in five and 20 user versions. So if you need to have a total of 10 workstations connected to your server, you would purchase Small Business Server with the inbuilt five client licenses and then an additional five client license pack giving you a total of 10 users. As your business grows, you can always add additional client packs as required. 
You can connect most versions of Windows to Small Business Server, but it's designed to work best with Windows XP, Professional and Windows 2000 Workstation. You can't connect Windows XP Home Edition to a server, so be aware of that. You can also get Windows 98 machines to connect to SPS, but they will have significant limitations on what they can and can't do. Our advice is, you should upgrade your machines so they are at least Windows 2000 Professional or better. Small Business Server does have a number of limitations. This is because it is aimed at small businesses in an effort to keep the cost down. Firstly, Small Business Server only allows you to connect up 75 clients in total to your network. If you need to grow beyond this, you'll have to purchase something called a transition pack. The important thing to take away is the fact that even beyond 75 clients, Small Business Server is able to grow to meet your needs. Secondly, all server software must, be, must reside on the same machine. Basically, that means you can't install each component of Small Business Server on a separate machine. This usually isn't an issue for most small businesses. The major limitation is that Small Business Server must be the first server in your network. It's important to note that Small Business Server is not the only server you can have in your network, it just needs to be the first. It is important to note this fact, that you can have more than one server in a Small Business Server network. Why would you ever need a second server, you may ask? Well, maybe you want to run a dedicated web server, or some specialised software that requires a specific machine. Again, whatever your business needs, Small Business Server can accommodate you. Another myth that needs dispelling here is the fact that products that come as part of Windows Small Business Server, such as Exchange and SQL, are not exactly the same as those used by large businesses. The SBS versions aren't cut down or hobbled in some way, they are exactly the same, feature for feature. The limitation on the software is imposed by Small Business Server which we spoke about a moment ago. An example of this is having to have all the software installed on a single server. For those of you out there who already have Small Business Server, let me say that using the inbuilt wizard makes things much better. Some people will tell you that wizards don't work well. I can assure you that in Small Business Server, they do. And they not only make things far easier when you're setting up, but they also ensure that every time you run the wizard, you get the same consistent result. Why trust your server's configuration to someone's memory? Use the wizards. I do.